Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers behind the scenes to archives, museums, and historic sites. In April 1865, the U.S. government's Department of the South sent photographers to document a flag-raising ceremony at Fort Sumter in Charleston, South Carolina. That fort was held by the Confederate Army during the Civil War, but was recaptured by Union forces as the war drew to a close. The photographers also documented numerous scenes of the city badly damaged by war and fire. Charleston native and commercial photographer Rick Rhodes worked to restore and enhance digital copies of the images he acquired at the Library of Congress website. Mr. Rhodes described his project and showed American History TV several of the photographs at a Charleston exhibit. My name is Rick Rhodes. I'm a um, commercial photographer in Charleston, and uh, we are sitting, uh, we're standing in the uh, city gallery at Waterfront Park in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. And you have an exhibit here. Tell us how you got an exhibit here and how this project came about. Okay. Well, um, I'm a native Charlestonian, and um, years ago I was searching um, on the internet for uh, an image of Charleston, and I stumbled across uh, these images of Charleston in 1865. Um, is on the Library of Congress website, and uh, these are um, scans from the original glass eggs um, that were taken in, in 1865. When I saw the quality of the images, um, as a photographer, I was uh, really excited about seeing these old, old photographs um, of Charleston, and um, I wanted to try to print one and, and just see what it looked like um, after we spent some time restoring the image. And when uh, this was the first image that we that we worked on, and when uh, with the print came out of the machine, it just the detail that we could see was just incredible, and uh, we got really excited about it and wanted to do more. Before we talk about this image, could you explain to people who don't know, what is a glass negative? Okay, um, back in 1865, that was a process um, of photography where photographers would um, coat pieces of glass with emulsion and then would load it in um, big view cameras. Like A lot of these were shot on uh, roughly around 11 by 14 glass plates and then they were processed and then they were printed from those negatives. So it's just like a piece of film, but it's on glass instead of uh, the plastic that, that uh, is used uh, in, in later times. So the Library of Congress actually stores these glass objects? That's correct. They store them in, in um, climate controlled uh, rooms so that uh, they're well preserved and then they've scanned them so that the images can still be looked at. When you did your project, did you ever get near a glass negative, or did you just use digital? For this project, we've only used um, the, um, the scans of the glass negs, but uh, I, I photograph a lot for um, art museums, and I have handled many glass negatives over my time. So this image that started your project, to explain this to us. Okay. Um, basically, um, the federal government sent uh, Union photographers here to photograph the state of the South and the flag raising at Fort Sumter um, in 1865. And while they were here, they spread, around, spread out around Charleston and uh, photographed uh, the forts and the city. And this image is of uh, Meeting Street. Um, and the damage that you see when you first think of this, uh, you may think it's all um, war damage. but this particular damage that we're looking at was from a fire in 1861 that spread throughout the city and did a lot of damage to Charleston. At that time, um, the war was going on and so um, they couldn't really rebuild because uh, all the other action that was going on. So this is what Charleston looked like from 1861 to 1865 when reconstruction started. 